Virginia, recently we as prophets have gone to the mountain to hear the voice of the Lord. We came to hear God for ourselves as prophets, and we also came to hear a word for the church, both to the body of Christ and to those that are called to be prophets. You have shared with me a powerful revelation also that God spoke to you while on the mountain, and it was about the wells. So would you like to share that for the body of Christ? Sure. Um, I, the Lord's been speaking to me about the wells of Abraham and how those wells have been filled up after Abraham's death and how um, they're filled up with earth is what hmm. the scripture says. Mm -hmm. And So when I looked that up, that earth meant world. And instantly the Lord hmm. spoke to me and was saying that the wells were filled with worldly things. And he was speaking of his children, us. And um, he said that um, just as Isaac came and dwelled in that same land and dug out the wells, that's what he is doing in us right now, is he's digging out the wells. He's removing the debris that's been um, piled up for generations mm. because that was Isaac was in the next generation right. from Abraham. Right. And um, a lot of it won't be, a lot of the wells are already a lot has already taken place for for the digging out process, but some of the wells are just now starting to be dug out. And I had a vision one day when I was in intercession, and in that vision, uh, I saw um, the I saw a well, and in the well there was a little bit. You could tell that the well had been dug out some, and but then um, out of the blue, this this hammer, um, metal like hammer, come down into the well. And it hit so hard, it pushed all the way down to the bottom of the well. And it was, it was like a, um, a pressure, just this very strong pressure. And it pushed all the debris down to the bottom. And it caused right. the water to burst forth all around it. And then all the debris came out of the well. Mm. And the well started flowing fresh water. Mm. And I felt like the Lord said to me, well, I know the Lord said to me that that is the well of living water. And then he referred me to the scripture where Jesus was talking to the woman at the well. Right. And she had come to the well thirsty mm -hmm. for one kind of drink. Mm -hmm. But then right. Jesus said, you know, what you're looking for is more than what you realize. You were looking for me. And he was talking about himself being the well of living water. Mm -hmm. And that's what God is wanting us to be. We are seed of Abraham. You know, and we're joint heirs with Jesus Christ. And mm -hmm. Jesus wants us to be like him. And so if he's the well of living water, then that's what we are meant to be, those wells of living water. And if we have debris so built up inside of us, how can we refresh or bring right. provision or prosperity to somebody's life? And so that's as the message, as the message of the Lord, you're saying? Mm -hmm. How can we bring a message of prosperity? How can we bring a message of right. healing? How can we bring a message of deliverance? How can we bring a message if we have inside of us Worldly That's right. spoils, or mm -hmm. what, how how would you say them? It's not even. It's not only just the worldly things too. It is also um, bad teachings, maybe from oh. um, from a religious perspective. Also, um, a lot of the the debris can also be that things that we've been taught that haven't been according to the Word of God that has clouded what God is truly trying to say. Or it could be pride. It could be anger. It could be unhealing. You know, things that ha where you haven't been healed. You know, all this stuff God is wanting to remove so that he can flow. Jesus is flowing, you know, he's the well of living water. He wants to flow through us, and he can't do that perfectly until we allow him to remove that debris. Well, I see something else as you're speaking. Um, you had said some of the wells already had were in the process of bringing up the debris. So in, um, as I'm listening to you, that makes it sound like to me that sometimes we try to clean ourselves. Mm -hmm. And that is a religious yeah. thinking that you can clean yourself. But when you saw that hammer come down with such a force, that is where we have to understand that only God can clean mm -hmm. us up and only God can bring up that living water. So as the well, we may begin the process because we recognize we right. need healing or we recognize we need to get rid of some of these things that we're carrying because then as prophets, we can't bring a pure message to the people if we have this inside of us. Mm -hmm. And so then what you're saying then, if I'm saying this correctly, is that when God's hand comes in and removes the debris mm -hmm. with such a force, it then brings up 
what you, what myself, and what the body of Christ would need. Correct? It's a faster process. It's a, oh, I like it's that. It's a faster process. If, if we allow the Lord, the more we surrender to what God wants, the more oh, we humble it. ourselves and surrender to what God wants, then it is a quicker process for, for us to get through this than if we resist and fight. Mm -hmm. Very good. Now, I could see that as a picture to the body of Christ. How would that relate to a prophet? A prophet is supposed to be the messenger of the word of the Lord. So speaking to a prophet, what would be your word of encouragement to them? Really to surrender, to surrender and allow God to do that work so that you can be a vessel for others and so that you can be that flowing water that you're that you're meant to be if you're called to be a prophet then you are meant to speak forth a pure word from the lord mm -hmm. and that that is that water flowing forth amen well thank you virginia that is very encouraging thank you for your word thank you